kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, and the seller can agree on it. You can be as creative as you want. That's all. Okay. That's the key thing is you and the seller agreeing to something. Okay. You always explain it to this. So, Mr. Seller, do you want to be the bank? The bank makes all the money. Okay. The bank makes all the money. Now, instead of you going and collecting rent and having to take care of the property, do you just want to become the bank and just be quiet? Most of the time they say yes unless they have a specific reason for that money. Okay. Um, but by all means, every, everyone's different. So, uh, Holly says, I'm not using anything bought. My scale is small. And you know what? That's how you can start off. That that's perfectly fine. Um, I do recommend getting into a dialer, some sort of dialer, whether it be Mojo dialer, whether that be call tools, call rib, what, whatever it is. Okay. Look into them all, do your research. Um, I personally use call tools myself. I like it. Um, I have a VA virtual assistant who cold calls for me. Um, but you can do it yourself as well. So in my opinion, do your homework, see what's comfortable to you. Use a good CRM. If you don't, a CRM is customer relationship management tool. Okay. And that could be anything from Podio. It could be from call tools has a built in one as well. Um, you know, things like that. So, uh, this goodbye 2020. All right. You should really change your name. If you're looking to get into real estate to something with your name in it. All right. Um, hi, just getting into real estate. Uh, also, do you have any contract resource, uh, contract resources for, for sale by owner, seller financing or, uh, and, or wholesaling for Michigan? I do have contracts for, uh, wholesaling. Okay. Uh, Fizbo's in my opinion, yes, they are a little bit motivated. You're going, it's going to take some time to walk them over things like that. Seller financing, um, my contract, you can use it as far as a land contract. But again, I have not done a deal personally with seller financing. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm prefacing that. Um, but there's a lot of people in the Facebook group and in the chats that have link up with them by all means. If you need help, contact me and, and I will help guide you towards somebody who may help you. Okay. If I can't help you, that is all right. Um, so he also said he or she don't know if it's he or she, uh, uh, or do I need to have a lawyer draw them up? It depends on what you're doing. I don't think you really need a lawyer to draw them up, but I think you need to understand what your contract says go over your contract with a fine tooth comb. Okay. And, um, that way, the reason why I say that is because who, your, your seller is not, they, they may go over your, your contract with a fine tooth comb and they're going to bring up questions. You need to have the answers like that. Okay. Oh, I don't know why that's in there. Oh, I, 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 you know what? I'll take that out or I'll do this. Now you're just screwing yourself. If you picked up a contract from say, uh, uh, Jerry Norton or somebody else through these resources, read through that contract, understand that contract and understand what every single paragraph means. Okay. That way, what happens is you can explain it to the seller. And hey, 
the the easier and simpler terms you can set you can say it to the seller the better off you'll be promise you that all right um all right so they said he said duly noted all right Holly, appreciate it. Andy, appreciate it. No problem. I appreciate you guys coming on. I really do. So, um, so it looks like he's not going to be coming on. And I thank you for all the comments, by the way. So if you want to have any more comments, please put them in here. I'll stay for a couple more minutes. Um, now, with that being said, with the con I want to go back to these contracts per se. Okay. Now, how I got my contracts was I JV with another wholesaler. Okay. And he let me use his contracts. That's how I got my contract, but I didn't just blindly use them. I read through it. I, I with a fine tooth comb. And then if I didn't know something, I asked why I asked what it was. And then if I did not want that in my contract, guess what? I would either take it out or I would replace it with something or reword it with something that that would favor either towards me or whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, and with that, that's the same thing with a JV agreement. That's the same thing with a uh, assignment agreement as well, assignment of contract. All right. And those are the things you need as well as you need a release. All right. You need a release of contract. All right, because there's going to be times where you need to release that contract because you can't sell it. All right, you're trying to sell it for 45, you got under contract for 35 and really and truly the, the property is probably only worth about 30. Okay, so and, and just the seller is not coming down. So you have to release that contract. All right. Um, now, do mistakes like that happen? Yes, they do. I've made them. That's how I know. All right. Uh, I've made them a lot. I'm still making them to this day because guess what? This market's constantly changing. All right. With these interest rates that are coming up right, that are right now, right now it's a little bit more consistent, which is good. They're not always fluctuating up and down so much at least right now in the past couple months they've been consistent okay um they are i uh, your buyers are going to act similar when they're consistent versus they're going to pull back a little bit they're going to go towards the the um cheaper side. they're going to get need to get a huge a bigger discount because they're going to need to account for the possibly um, the, the increase that's going to come three months down the road when they go to sell it. Okay. Basically the, the increase in the interest rates, which will bring down the prices. Okay. Now, if you have a good product, it's going to sell and you price it right. It's going to sell, but you have to buy it right. They, the, the flippers, no matter how much you want them. Oh, they could go a thousand dollars more, $5,000 more, $10,000 more. Only if they could do that. They got to stick to their numbers. That's how they make money. Because you know what? In our market right now, you know, some flippers are making $50,000, $60,000, maybe in the higher end properties, but you go to these lower end properties and they are, they're only making uh, $20,000 a property. Okay. I'm making half of, my wholesale fee, I try to average around 10,000 per property. Okay. So I'm making half of what they're doing and they have to wait three months to get it. Okay. So you have to understand that, um, you know, they got to stick to their numbers. That's why you got to get them right as well. So, um, so keep that in mind. Um, you know, if you do have any properties you want to sell, post them in the Facebook group. All right. Metro Detroit off market real estate group in, in the, uh, in the description below is the link to the Facebook group. If you are not a member in there, become a member. I will approve you. Um, and you can post all your deals there, or you can look for your deals that you're wanting. If you're a flipper, if you're a buy and hold investor, also, if you're not on my buyers list, contact me. 
get on my buyer's list, you know, um, things like that. The reason why I may not have done too many deals because people are locking them up way too high and they're just not selling. They're sitting, they're sitting and sitting in the city. And I listen to my buyers. Okay. I listen to my buyers and I, I, I just have to be honest with people. Okay. So, um, you know, hopefully I've gave you at least a little bit of value today. Um, we can, you know what, with Saeed, we're going to try for another time. We'll see what happens. Uh, this is the first time. Oh my God. This is the first time I've ever had somebody be late. All right. So, um, actually not even show up. So with that being said, I really appreciate all of you that have come and have watched and have contributed to the chat. I really do appreciate you guys. If you are not watching this live, if you are watching the replay, by all means, can we still commute, uh, communicate through the chat and we can talk later. Hit me up with my number right below here. And I'm going to, uh, my email, if you want to do, if you want to JV with me as well. Okay. Um, this is <clears throat> my email right down below. All right. There you go. Right there. Randy buys houses, M I at gmail.com. All right. Happy to work with anybody who can. Um, and we can kind of go from there. If you are a buyer, hit me up. If you are looking for deals, hit me up. I want to know what your buying is, what your criteria is, what your limit is. Hell, if you just want to go to coffee and, and tell me all this information, I'm all for it. I don't drink coffee, but I'll find something to drink. I promise you that. So, um, you know, I'm happy to work out, you know, I, I, I've done this with a lot of different people. Um, I, I talk with a lot of different people and that's how I know the market. That's how I know the area. So almost every, at least every month, I'm probably going to five or six different, um, meetups trying to get out there, get to know buyers, things like that, uh, and seeing what they're buying at. All right. So if you're one of those buyers who do not go to meetups, hit me up as well. I want to hear from you too. All right. Um, now if you're a wholesaler pretending to be a buyer, don't just don't tell me you're a wholesaler. Well, JV will work together. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we'll work together. I'll help you out along the way. If you need help, um, locking up a deal, doing anything, I do not steal deals behind people's back. That's not who I am. A very ethical guy. Um, when it comes to business, because I want to repeat business. That's how I make more money is by repeat business. Okay. I'm in my third year. I probably, I've done, um, right around 30 deals since I started. So roughly, all right. Um, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more right around. Um, so I think I have some experience in every deal. I've learned something. I've learned something new from every deal. And I've had a lot more deals that I, we haven't closed because I got them locked up too high. The seller couldn't come down, whatever the case may be. So I have a lot more of those stories as well. Um, so with that being said, let's all do deals together. Hit me up, email me, call me, whichever you prefer. Uh, we'll see you in two weeks with another episode uh, of Real Estate Talk with Randy Steadwell. Hopefully we bring him back bring Saeed back. Maybe we'll repeat this episode and this will be an anomaly. I don't know. We'll see. All right. You guys have a good one. Let's all do deals together. Stay connected. And uh, that's it. Have a good one. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room